who has loused up his chances with Tracy Cotton and is in the family doghouse. Meanwhile, Simon is about to go on trial in the future, which could open a whole new can of beans for him to spill. What do you think, Millard? What about? Vigan, the barostereo gravitas. You speak in English? What do you reckon to make here, then, Governor? Oh. oh. I reckon you look pretty stupid. What am I supposed to think? Well, in view of the stress occasioned by a truth-enforced trial, I considered the familiar garb of a 20th century barrister met get somewhere towards easing your anxiety. Oh, yeah, oh, thanks, yeah. Oh, I feel really at home. I mean, you can't move in my house without tripping over a high court judge. Right, if that's how you feel about it. I work my fingers to the bone for you, I get no appreciation. All right, keep your wig on. Look, I don't want to end up in, uh, out of wherever it is. Don't you think this is a good time to swap back? Cody, Cody, good stood, Cody, Cody. Anyway, we can't. Unless Kappa 2 contacts us first. Why? Well? I must have made a mistake. 104 tins of cat food? How could you make a mistake like that? I must have been thinking about something else. Look, you haven't been taking... I know you always said you wouldn't because of your sport and you're not stupid. But you haven't... I haven't what? What your mother's asking is... Have you been taking drugs? Drugs? No, of course he hasn't. He's not that daft. But is there anything worrying you? Were you pretty cross last night? That worried me. Well, it was a bit of a shock, that was all. What with the party and the, and the water outside and the hole in the front drive. And my vase. Oh, what's an old vase? We can get another one. It's you that's important. There's nothing else worrying you, is there? I've got Tracy into trouble. Um, how do you mean you've got Tracy into trouble? Her mum was a bit cross. <laughs> Look, oh. I think it's best if you just stay at home today. Or better still, why don't you come to church with mm. us? We'll all go as a family. That'll be nice, won't it? Church? Barry's head fell. His eyes blinked once, then closed forever. Ooh, yuck. Lottie gasped. That wasn't very nice, Joss, she said. He was our son. Sometimes you just don't sing like the man I married. He stepped forward. I am not the man you married, he said in a deep voice. I am Volda from Alpha Centauri. I am using Jordan's body. <laughs> Alpha Centauri. What about it? That's where Franks come from. Oh, come on, what Simon was going on about? Franks from Alpha Centauri. Perhaps he's been taken over by an alien. I am Valda. I am using Simon's body. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has been a bit weird just lately. That must be what it is. He's been taken over by Franks from Alpha Centauri. <laughs> Your dad was just on the phone. What's still in bed? You're supposed to be going to church. I know. They always go. Well, I think that's very nice. In fact, Sharon, I think you ought to go too. Come on, come and get yourselves ready. Of common complaint. You needn't whisper. 
The attendance of the program is to record until the trial begins. They are function-only androids, like the judge. The judge is an android? Of course. Humans are subject to emotion, and the law needs to be exact. What happens next? We wait. Shouldn't even be here. Kappa 2 should. May I suggest that you do what he's doing? In relative time, of course. What's that? Praying. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 O Lord, open thou our lips. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make speed to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's Lord name be praised. Christ. Our first lesson is found in the Old Testament, taken from the book of Leviticus. We commence the reading at chapter 11, verse 1. Ah, give me a milli tick. <laughs> Leviticus. Leviticus. Verse one. <laughs> Tranquilla. Our first lesson is found in the Old Testament, taken from the book of Leviticus. We commence the reading at chapter eleven, verse one. Ishmael spoke to Moses and Aaron and said to them, Speak to the sons of Israel and say. <laughs> Amen. I trust the divine being heard you. I see he's brought his little friend along. He'll need more than moral support and psycho-correction. Yes, Master. Who's that with you? That's his computer. That's the best a servant class can come up with. Well, why's he only got a servant class? His choice? He went for the one that does as it's told. And you don't? Well, do what you're told. Usually. He come to judge. The court is in session. Who is the complainer? I am. Sigma 682440. Who is the defender? Uh, I am. Um, Kappa 2... Seven. Kappa 270934. What is the complaint? The defender cheated in round two of the hypergrid contest. In the court of common complaint, you may ask as many truth-enforced questions as you have a reasonable suspicions. How many reasonable suspicions will you offer? Three. Recite the suspicions. First, he muscled in at 42 kilojoules. In round one, he only delivered 13. Nobody puts on 20 kJs in a week. Second? He beat me. I'm the area champion. The only person he ever beat was Alpha 2, who threw the match away. Objection! Sustained. Delete the reference to Alpha 2. Third? I suckered him with the oldest trick in the universe. Elaborate. I gave him the old Proton Buzz handshake, and he fell for it. That proves he'd been on stereo jewels or some other illegal drug. That objection, my lad! Sustained. Delete proves 
substitute suggests. The three suspicions are valid. You may ask three questions. The defender will put on the tooth enforcer and approach the bench. The tooth enforcer is correctly worn and is functioning. The defender is unable to lie. According to USC law, his answers will determine his innocence or guilt. The complainer will ask the first question. Did you cheat? to get up to 42 kilojoules. No, I did not cheat. Second question. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Third question. Uh, uh, just a minute, Your Judgeship. Uh, that Third was question. question. Did you cheat in any way, shape or form to beat me in the hypergrid contest? No. I did not cheat in any way, shape, or form to beat you on the hypergrid contest. I don't believe this. The complainer fails. The defender is innocent and is excused from answering all truth enforced questions for one lunar month. Objection! What is it? Hey, I just thought I'd better say something. The trial is concluded. I don't believe this. I just don't believe this. I know you cheated. You know you cheated. Yeah, the courtroom says he didn't. No, 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 no. Was off, David Dalton, because you know he cheated too. Everybody does. My old grandmother could beat Capitol on the hypergrid, and she's 130. And that's it, isn't it? That's how you did it. You beat me. Because you're not Kappa II. So who are you? Simon Kashmir. Right, OK, sorry, dear, that's not that. Thank you so much. Lovely civil do. Simon Kashmir, eh? Thank you. Thank you. That little slip is going to cost you. Oi! Heidi, hey. Um, Tracy, <laughs> about last night. Are you going out tomorrow? After school? No, I'd... Look, Tracy. Because you can come round if you want to. Yeah, great. To celebrate, you mean? Tracy, listen. Get lost, Simon. Who's uh, that with Tracy? Don't be stupid, Simon. You know who it is. Oh, yeah, I know, but why is she asking him round to dinner? Because she fancies him. See, he hasn't a clue. He really doesn't know who Greg Fortnum is. Of course he... But then he wouldn't, would he? If he was a flank. What have they got to celebrate? He thinks he's going to win, that's all. Win what? The house elections. Mm. Linda, how do you fancy going out tomorrow night? Actually, I think I'm going out with Steve. Steve? Does my appearance displease you, Master? You look like you just climbed out of the echo garbage, you dork brain. As far as I'm concerned, you're just a second-rate bunch of circuitry. So get over there and do what you're told. I want to know who Simon Kashmir is. You've got all the data. Find him. I don't know where to start, Master. It's a foreign name, so try the Americas or Pacificana. Could you say a witch? You see, I'm on your, uh... Servant class computer, yes. You don't have to keep reminding me how wazzing useless you are. You've got access to the same data, haven't you? Oh, yes, sir. Then find out who he is. That's all I want to know. Who is Simon Kashmir? 
So what did they say then? No, I can't go out. I think they want to keep an eye on me. That's a bit steep, isn't it? Simon! Simon, come here! Exactly what have you done with the lawnmower? Lawnmower? <laughs> I watched it on Hollisport. Quazed me out. It was totally brilliant. Your move. Hey, three fun berries, two with one without. Thanks, Donna. Next time you wanted a drink, you gotta hit it a pips, right? I only got one pair of heads. My nephew is a down at the brick. No. Sorry, sometimes he just seems to go on and on. My move, is it? So what did Sigma Six say? Well, he didn't believe me. Actually, you don't remember very much when you're truth enforced. And all those people that secretly thought you might have cheated. Did you think I cheated? Don't be silly. I believed in you right from the start. Uh-oh. Oh, if it isn't our good friend Kappa 2, and of course it isn't. Our good friend, I mean. How is Pacificana these days? Still a bit primitive from what I hear. What are you talking about, Sigma? Ooh, I think he knows. Or is it the Americas or Equatoria? You're such a dork-brained Louis. Just do mind your tongue, Squealy. This is Sigma-6 you're talking to. That's it. Do yourself a favour and shove off before I shove this down your throat. You'll be sorry you said that, Kappa-2. Well, you've changed all the gearing. But it didn't go very fast. Well, why didn't you just use the bike? I thought it was the bike. No, that's the bike. Well, it hasn't got a motor. Well, it doesn't take much to pedal it. Look, that might be all right for you, and it might be all right for Simon, but yeah, pass me that nut twister. Where I come from, people aren't used to it. Well, if you like things so easy, why didn't you just use some of your technology to put this mower back together? Did you hear that? He admitted it. And Steve knows. What are they going to do? I don't know. Have you got that book with you? It's in my bag. Come on. I mean, it was all so easy. I saw him miss and he backed off. Congratulations, Neanderthal man. What's wrong? Well, nobody fights anymore. As such, humanity grew up. Yeah, with well, Sigma Six was bricking it. I'm surprised. Mufa was impressed. Yes, well, she would have been. Yeah. And what started this rather crude display of violence, may I ask? Oh, I don't know. He was rabbiting on about uh, Pacific Kana or uh, Equatoria. I don't know. What was all that about? He's trying to discover where you come from. Where he is, he may find out. So what you have to ask yourself is, how do you feel? Lucky? Mr. Cashmere, I'm sorry to bother you on a Sunday, but I wondered if I could have a word about Simon's computer exam. Come on, come on, what does it say? I'm looking for it. Come on. Got it. Voldar's fierce brow creased into a frown and he looked up at the sky. As the rain fell, the steam rose up from his skin. Ah, he cried and sank down to his knees, clawing at his face with his nails. Rain? How can we make it rain? Not rain, silly. Water. Listen. Here we are. The alien circuitry was threaded through the dermis. That's like... under the skin. I looked it up. And the water... Read it for yourself. To be perfectly honest, I thought it was just a load of gobbledygook. Computers aren't my subject, you understand. You're mine. It is gobbledygook. But then I realised he'd actually written the programme in machine code. Is that good, Derek? More than that, Mrs Cashmere. It was brilliant. We don't even teach it before the sixth form, so I can't imagine where he might have learnt it. He learnt it on Alpha Centauri. Are you saying he cheated? No. No, absolutely not. He couldn't have done. So what then? He's some kind of genius, is that what you're saying? Maybe. Maybe he is. Look, um, do you mind if I have a go at this? No, do. Oh. Oi! 
Donut, did you find a wristband in here yesterday? Did you find a wristband? Eh, hey, with my nephew down a precinct, I know how at all. You think I got time to look for lost property? Shh. Have you found a wristband in here recently? I have found nothing. No wristband has been left here. So where don't people have wristbands? <laughs> There, what's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong, love. We think you're very clever. We just want to know where you learnt it. Uh, uh, where? Well... I keep telling you, he's an alien. Yes, Lucy. But he really is, Mrs Cashmere. He's a flank from Alpha Centauri. He's just using Simon's body. Now, that's enough, both of you. Well, Simon, Miss Davis wants an answer. Um, he got a book out from the school library. And he's in it too. He knows. Lucy, that's enough, I've told you. Which book was that, Simon? Uh, um, it's upstairs. I saw it earlier. Come on, Si, let's go and get it. But he really is, Mark. He's in it. <laughs> now what? Well, the school library's bound to have a book on it because they do it in the sixth form. We would just have to go and get it. How? Well, like you do everything else. Freeze time. Beam me up, Scotty. I don't know what you do. What other choice have you got? Well, it never really came up in the conversation, but uh, I fancy you something rotten. Oh, sorry, I... Uh... I thought you went upstairs. I did. I came back. What's Simon doing? Here I am. And uh, here's the book. It's a reference book. Well, he was going to put it back. Yeah, I only... He borrowed it. Well, I must admit you've learned something from it, but... I can prove he's an alien. Look! Whatever did you do that for? That's Lucy. Upstairs, Lucy. We've had quite enough of you. But he is an alien. Out! I'm terribly sorry about this. I'll uh, get a towel. I know your secret. You're a fling from our Centauri. I failed, Master. There's no evidence of a Simon Kashmir anywhere on the planet. Don't give me that dork brain. Either you find him or you're out of here. Your history. History. That's where he's from. Look in the past. And when you find him, Kappa 2 is going to know all about it. 